Nchini Marekani story kubwa kwa sasa hasa katika upande wa burudani ni kuhusiana na ishu ya Didi kuanzia nyumba yake ilipovamiwa na maafisa wa Homeland Security kule Los Angeles pamoja na Miami kuanzia hapo vitu vingi sana vimeendelea kutokea matawi yakizalishwa na mambo kama hayo sasa miongoni mwa matawi ambayo yamezalishwa ni pamoja na hii hapa skendo ya baby mama wa 50 cent anaitwa Daphne Joy ambaye unafahamu kwamba 50 cent amekuwa kimkejeli sana didi kuanzia masuala ya unyanyasaji wa kingono ambayo yanamkabili didi kuna kesi ambayo imefunguliwa na producer anaitwa Rodney Jones aka Lil Rod ambaye huyu ameshtaki kwamba Didi alimnyanyasa kingono na nataka alipwe kiasi cha dola milioni 30 za Marekani. Miongoni mwa madai aliyosema katika lawsuit yake ni kwamba huyu baby mama wa 50 cent Jeff Joy pamoja na mpenzi wake Didi anaitwa Young Miami mwanamuziki huko nchini Marekani. Walikuwa ni Machangudoa sex worker ambao alikuwa akifanya kazi na Didi. Yaani Didi alikuwa anawalipa kwa ajili ya kulala nao kama vile Machangudoa. Kutokana na hiyo shutma 50 cent akawa ame react. Na ufahamu kwamba 50 cent na Daffy wamezaa mtoto anaitwa Saya. Huyu ni mtoto ambaye 50 anampenda sana hata sasa hivi kwenye page yake ya Instagram ile profile picture ameweka picha ya kijana huyu Saya. Ni mtoto ampendaye sana. Sasa Saya amezaa na Daffy Joy ambaye ni E, mrembo wa only fans ambaye walikuwa naye pamoja kuanzia mwaka 2011 hadi 2012 na wakaachana muda mfupi baada ya kuzaliwa Saya ambaye kwa sasa na umri wa miaka 11. Sasa baada ya kusikia hiyo story 50 cent akamweka picha hii hapa ikimuonesha kivuta sigara halafu akaandika I didn't know you was a sex worker you little sex worker LOL yo this shit is a movie. Kwa hiyo pia kwamba hakujua kama baby mama wake alikuwa ndio hivyo anajiuza. Sasa baada ya hapo ikawa imefahamika tovuted page 6 ikaandika 50 cent seeking sole custody of his Daphne Joy's son and after she is named as alleged sex worker in Didi's lawsuit report. Kwamba 50 cent sasa anataka amchukue kabisa mwanae aishi naye. Kimoja na hii ni kutokana na haya madai ya kwamba baby mama wake ni mwanamke anayejiuza. Kwa hiyo kama baba anaona kwamba haya sio mazingira mazuri kwa mwanae kuishi na mama yake ambaye ndio hivyo ameshtumiwa kufanya hivyo. Baada ya hapo 50 cent kwenye Instagram akaendelea akaweka hii hapa ni screenshot kutoka kwenye tovuti ya complex.com ambayo inasema kuhusiana na 50 cent kutaka soul custody na katika caption akaandika it is what it is. See you in family cult sex worker. Halafu Daphne Joy pia aka comment hapa good come see your kid damn kwa hiyo anajibizana hapa vile vile sasa baada ya hapo Daphne Joy akaanza yeye pia kupitia Instagram kuelezea hayo madai ya huyu Rodney ambapo akasema i'm deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones lawsuit the claim that i am sex worker is 100% false and character assassination i'm retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney kwa hiyo anachosema ni kwamba ameumizwa na uongo huu katika kesi au katika madai ya Jones. Madai hayo kwamba ye ni mwanamke anayejiuza, changudoa si kweli na ni kumharibia sifa yake. Anatafuta mwanasheria kwa ajili ya kuangalia namna ya masuala hayo ya kisheria na pia kumchukulia hatua Rodney pamoja na mwanasheria wake. Akaja kujibu 50 cents sasa pia ambapo hii hapa amemwa dress 50 cent mwenyewe kutokana na ile anavyosema kwamba ameamini kinachosemwa Curtis James Jackson jina lake halisi 50 cent kila kitu kwako ni utani hadi pale usalama unapochezewa kitu ambacho kinaendelea kwa sasa unatengeneza ni kama vurugu na shida katika maisha ya watu unajisikiaje kama saya alikuwa miongoni mwa wale ambao wamefungwa pingu bila kufanya chochote tulihamia New York ili kukupa fursa ya wewe kuwa baba kwa mtoto wetu na umemuona mara kumi tu ndani ya miaka miwili ambayo tumeishi maili moja tu karibu yako nimechoka kutunza heshima kwa mtoto wetu ambayo kama hujawe kustahili hasa hapa akampiga na kitu kizito anasema hebu tuzingatie zaidi matendo yako maovu ya kunibaka na kuninyanyasa 
kimwili. Wewe sio mwenevu wangu tena na Mungu ndio atakaye shughulika na wewe kuanzia sasa. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with this last and final false claims made against me. Kwa hiyo anasema kwamba kwa yale ambayo 50 cent anashadadia anayasema basi ameharibu matumaini ya mwisho ya yeye kama baba na ile kutunza ile ukaribu wa familia kwa kile ambacho amekizungumza you have broken our hearts for the last and final time kwamba umevunja mioyo yetu kwa mara ya mwisho sasa hapa ameurudisha mpira na kumshutumu 50 cent kwamba amekuwa akimbaka baada ya haya madai ya Daphne kumshutumu 50 cent kwamba alikuwa akimbaka na kumabuse yametoa maelezo yake kupitia TMZ ambapo amekanusha katika maelezo yake 50 anasema the disturbing allegations in the sworn pleadings recently filed in a court case related to Daphne Joy the mother of my 12 year old child has required me to take all necessary legal actions to protect my son Sire. Yale yaliyosemwa katika ile lawsuit ya Rodney yamemfanya achukue hatua za kisheria kwa ajili ya kumlinda mwanae Sire. Alafu akaendelea the most recent false and baseless accusations by Daphne and Joy are clearly in response to my decision to seek sole custody of my son. My son Sire is my main priority and keeping him in a safe environment is my only focus at this time. Kwa hiyo anachosema ni kwamba maneno haya shutuma hizi ambazo hazina msingi zotolewa na Daphne and Joy ni wazi kwamba ni kujibu uamuzi wangu wa kutaka kumchukua mwanangu na kuishi naye kabisa mwanangu ndio kipa umbele kwa sasa kumweka katika mazingira ambayo ni salama ndio focus yangu muda huu baada ya hapo vile vile 50 cent akatumia page yake ya Instagram pia kuweka picha hii hapa ushahidi ambapo inamuonesha baby mama Daphne Joy akiwa na Didi kuthibitisha kwamba walikuwa na ukaribu hawa akaandika you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me but i was busy so you moved back and then you started receiving money from brother love now here we are little sex worker kwa hapa anachosema ni kwamba Daphne katika maelezo zake kwamba alihamia New York ili kuweza kumfanya 50 yawe karibu na mwanae sasa namwambia wewe ulikuja hivyo kwa matumaini ya kutaka kuwa na mtoto na mimi mwingine lakini nilikuwa busy kwa hiyo ulikuja ili uanze kupokea pesa kutoka kwa brother love ambaye ni Didi. Sasa tuko hapa changudoa mdogo. Kwa hiyo hii ni picha imedhihirisha kwamba huu karibu kinachosemwa kipo kwa sababu huyu ni yeye kweli Daphne Joy. Lakini pia uh, Daphne akaja kuelezea tena kwenye Insta story akisema it's funny how people start with you and get mad when you defend yourself. Kwamba inachekesha pale watu wanapokuchokoza na wanakasirika ukianza kujitetea. Kamalizia kwa kusema hapa kwamba family court great. Play catch with your son play basketball teach him some fatherly things instead of trolling all damn day on IG he lacks a father figure in his life and needs male guidance you are finally catching on great idea kwa hiyo namwambia kwamba mahakama ya kifamilia sawa cheza na mwanao mfundishe vitu vya kibaba kuliko kutania watu na kuwakejeli watu kwenye Instagram anakosa ile mtu kama baba katika maisha yake na anahitaji mwongozo wa mwanaume anamwambia kwamba naona umeanza sasa kuelewa kwamba at least unaanza kukumbuka hilo. Hiyo inaonekana kwa mujibu wa Daphne Joy anavyosema ni kwamba 50 cent hayupo katika maisha ya mwanae Saya japokuwa amekuwa akisema anampenda na ana um, posti sana. Amesema katika miaka miwili 50 amemuona mwanae mara kumi peke yake. Kwa hiyo inamaanisha kwamba 50 hana muda wa kutosha wa spend time na mwanae Saya. Hapo ndipo tulipofikia sasa hivi 50 cent ameingia tena katika hili swala la Didi connection ikiwa ni ile lawsuit ya Rodney ambapo inamweka Daphne Joy pamoja na Young Miami kwamba ni wanawake ambao walikuwa nalipwa pesa na Didi kufanya naye mapenzi wanajiuza kwake. Kuonyesha kwamba pamoja na yote haya anayafanya akiwa busy kutroll watu na vitu kama hivyo, anatengeneza historia yake na kuingiza pesa. Amealizia kwa kuweka screenshot ya story hii na sema 50 cents final lap tour on pace to be in the top 
highest grossing hip hop tours of all time. Kwa mbele tour yake ilomalizika, Final Lap Tour inaelekea kuingia katika orodha ya tours zilizoingiza pesa nyingi zaidi za hip hop. Ambapo hapo anaonesha kwenye touring data ameingiza mapato ya dola milioni 84.4. So it's a lot of money na akaandika whistle while you work guys. That's my theme for today. I made all this money and I'm practicing abstinence. I don't want a little sex worker. Anachosema ni kwamba piga miluzi, fanya yote, fanya fujo zote, lakini fanya ni kazi jamani. Ndio theme yake kwa leo. Ametengeneza hii pesa yote wakati huo vile vile akijiepusha ama kiacha kabisa kujihusisha na ngono na kwamba hataki changudoa mdogo little sex worker. Tupia komenti yako na subscribe ili kupata taarifa nyingi zaidi. Attention, your potential customers are watching this video. Don't miss out on the opportunity to reach them. Advertise your business alongside their favorite content and convert them into loyal customers. Contact us now at info@snstz.com at or WhatsApp 0659250389 to amplify your brand to the SNS family.